So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. Today I'll be showing you how you can create a pop-up looking like this one. Yesterday I received an email from the system where we request the features that the pop-up editing, I voted on it, I wanted this to be uh, done quicker, has been marked as complete. So now that means that theoretically we can go in and design our own pop-ups. Yesterday when I received this email, I straight away I jumped into the Groove Pages app and then I designed my pop-up. I can say it's it's pretty good, but it still has some bugs. I just wanted to show you in a quick video what you can do with it. So today I will be showing you how we can recreate the same look and style of this pop-up in here. So we can start working on that one. So the first question many of you will be asking how I created the background, how to create these uh, this, this looking background. So the tool I used for this one is Canva. Canva is a free tool that you can use. Uh, you can create a free account on there and then you can use uh, this tool to, to create posters, uh, presentations, Facebook posts, logos and stuff like this. For this purpose of the pop-up I used a presentation template. So you can click here as presentation or you can go here click a present to do a presentation or maybe here to, to do the same so I'll just click on this one so I want to create the presentation and then I searched for the best design that could that I could use I found one of these you can see I uh, I used it recently so I just click on it the first one and then I get this template I just delete the text and basically I can use this as, as my background of the of the pop-up so you can move these blobs around if you would like to um, I'll just send move them around you can change the colors you can see that it's a nice gradient color you can change the colors uh, to match your brand and match the style of your site and basically you can just save it so you either click here to download or you click up here to the right corner and then download what I suggest you always do with pop-up backgrounds is to save them as PNG this is a high quality image so you can use them uh, later on as well in case you want to use the same background for some other design okay so I have the image file here downloaded and now we're ready to put it in the in the pop-up so I want I came here to my GrooveFunnels dashboard I want to open Groove pages and just use an example site here we go here on the left left hand side we can see there is a button for pop-ups create a new pop-up let's give it a name I'll just call it lemon it will be a standard pop-up you can create entry or exit pop-ups as well I will be showing you maybe that later on if in case you're interested in it uh, but let's just create a standard pop-up for now okay I'll choose a template and I want to make sure that I save it so this is I'm not very satisfied with this option but at the moment we have this one so we'll work with it you have only a save and exit option so when you click save it will exit so whenever you want to save it make sure that your um, settings and the design stays it will automatically exit it you see now it exited just make sure you click the save button again that it actually saves the changes okay so we go back to pop-up we choose uh, the one that we just created and now let's see what we're working with so if we if I click on the text you can see that the text is on the block so what I would like to do is I would want to do a container and for the reason only because in case you go to the block you can see that it already has some spacing so in case you want to, to smoosh it so that it's it's a bit uh, more in the middle then you would you can do it like this but it can break the whole thing so what I would do is I would just just leave it and put it in a in a container not quite sure how it was before but let's just let's just leave it like this I think it was 14 okay so we pulled in a container I want to place all my elements into this container if it allows me it's a bit buggy as you can see still it's not perfect but we can work with it now okay perfect this should actually go down there we go 
perfect. So now if you take a look on our design from yesterday, I used a header, uh, an email form, there's a checkbox here. So we'll just pull in a checkbox. It's here in the elements tab and then we're looking for a checkbox. It's under the forms. Perfect. There we go. So now close this one and then we can start designing it. So I, what I would do first is I would pull in my the background that we created in Canva. I already uploaded it. You can just basically pull it in from, from the bottom of the page in case you're using Google Chrome. You click upload and then when it appears here on the side you can just click select and then it shows up. So now it actually showed up but it didn't show up quite as we wanted. So now what I suggest you to do is click on cover and then one more time so that it places it ex exactly in the middle and then you can place, press the middle of the screen here one more time. So now we have it nicely, this is our background and then what I want to show you guys is if you click click here on the text, you choose a container, you can do padding around this container as well. So we can we can pull it in so that it's nice, it's it's looking nicely like this. Okay. So we'll start recreating the same thing that we have here. So you you can just type in uh, the things that you need for your text, for your headers. Okay. Okay, and then enter email address. It's here. So basically, I clicked on the form. You go up here, you click configure, and then you just type into the placeholder. Um, address. Okay, and one more thing you can add a validation rules that basically, when somebody types in some text, it will actually check if it's an email or something else. So we uh, click and choose email and then update. Okay. So now we go to the next one. Where is it? This was enter email address, opt in to marketing emails. Okay, so the checkbox, click on the checkbox again here in the right hand corner, configure and then opt in for marketing emails. Okay, in case you're doing like a, I accept the privacy policy in terms and conditions, you can do the this one. It's checkbox is required. Without this one, that people cannot submit a, a form without accepting the the terms. Here we just need them to opt in for the marketing email, so we can just leave it like this. And then down here, I actually have the I have the text saved, so I can just copy and paste it. Okay, there we go, perfect. So now I, I just adjust the text. I want to put it railway, that's the font I want to use. And then let's just put like this. No, maybe put it back to normal, perfect. And I want to use black text, same for the header. You see, this one is, is a bug right now. I'm not quite sure if we will be able to edit it now because we didn't save it. Let's try to do something. Oh yeah, it popped back. So I clicked on, on the header and then it it turned, it showed us this text from the footer. So I just want to save it, make sure I, I save it correctly. One more time here on the save, wait for a green box here and then we're good to go. So we can go back to the, to the pop-up and then edit it. In case something happens, we still have a backup. We have it saved. So I click on the header. I want to put it as a railway font. I want to make it black and I want to align it to the left hand side of the screen. Maybe like this. Perfect. So, okay, I think we can close this now. So, in the form, we had a gray text and then white background. Okay. So we'll put the text gray and then we'll put the background white. 
oh no i actually chose the wrong thing so the background is white and we'll just move the text here it's gray that's fine and as i didn't change the color of the background here i want to do a background around the whole thing let's put it two pixels or basically the number two and then we'll do it a light gray color perfect looks nice opting for marketing emails and that's it we'll just change the button color background black we'll change the text on it uh, sign me up here we go sign me up update I want to not the line height but I want the letter spacing to be tight and I will put a uh, I will round the corners a bit on this one and then I will round the corners a, uh, a bit on the form here we go it's looking nice so let's save it and then let's have a look one more time so guys this is what we did this is the pop-up that we created now. You can modify it for yourself. So you can put a bit of, of spacing up here. Actually, let's just move this up. There we go. Let's just do a bit of spacing up here. Let's just do... Uh, I think I can just leave it like this. It, it's looking nice. So here you go guys, we created a quick pop-up, uh, nice looking one that you can use for your website. You can use the Canva to, to do your backgrounds or you can just design them with a, with a different uh, template that you can choose here. So you can put uh, like this, a picture on one side and then the form and the rest on the other side. You can be creative with this one and then you can do a pop-up that matches your site and your branding. So that's it guys in case you have any questions for me just please put them down in the comment box below and then uh, yeah see you in the groove digital group bye bye